Thanks, John C. Afternoon, everyone. We hope you all had an excellent non-league day yesterday. We're pleased to be able to extend the festivities into a second day here at Worthing today. They face fellow playoff hopefuls Bath City, who, like Worthing, hope to get back on track after some recent defeats. Worthing have made four changes to the side that lost to Chippenham last time. Rocco Reese returns in goal, while Kane Willis gets a spot in defence. Jack Spong, a creative midfield player, makes a rare start for the Rebels. Nick Wheeler should also help create the chances for Danny Cashman and Ollie Pierce. The latter has 37 goals this season. Bath City are bedeviled by selection problems. They had to go into the loan market on Friday to fill this team sheet. Duncan Idahan and Jack Bates make their debuts. There is good news about Cody Cook, though. The joint top scorer with 18 goals returns, having missed the last three games. Scott Wilson is the other key man going forward. He has two in two coming into today. Current run is easily their worst of the season, and for some time, they haven't lost four consecutive league games since 2017, and never at six-tier level. Here's Felix. Here's Pierce. Couldn't quite get enough on it. Here's Wheeler. Willis in a bit of space here. Encouraged to shoot. He obliges. Hit the first defender. That will be a free kick, though, for Worthing. Jack Spong brought down on the edge of the box. As Ollie Pierce lines it up. His effort the crossbar, fantastic shot from Pierce, and a real escape for Bath City. The follow-up effort from Tut leaves the stadium. Ollie Pierce showing what he's capable of, Bergs. Brilliant, brilliant. The angle's there to be hit to go goalkeeper's sides. I think that just creeps in underneath the crossbar. I don't think the keeper stands a chance. Pierce keeping that one out. Hit with so much pace and power there. Bottom floating one through to Felix, who takes it in his stride. It's Joe Felix! Right across the face of goal. Terrific run from the fullback, who was brilliantly picked out. And that was a wonderful chance for Worthing. So to Colbran, it's another short one from the Rebels. Colbran is there with the first header. Oh, what a magnificent save by Boos. Cashman was in on goal. Best chance for Worthing so far. It's been a while since Bath City have threatened. Clark's outnumbered here, two to one. Make that three, but he's done brilliantly. Found Wilson. Scott Wilson's cross is good. Cook was there, and Worthing have to perform some emergency defending. Jack Bates will deliver the corner from Derby County. Good delivery, wonderful save, but it's in. Wilson with the goal. In the right place, at the right time, for his third goal in as many matches. Worthing undone by a set piece once again. It is Bath City that take the lead here with 30 minutes gone. Well, they've won this corner from a brilliant counter-attacking play. They've got themselves up the field and got themselves that opportunity. And arguably their best route to goal so far has been via a set play, but again, it's Worthing's Achilles heel. That's what he does so well. It's just there being marked by Danny Cashman. And then all of a sudden, you just wait for little scraps. You just wait for opportunities for that ball to fall to you. Worthing will be so disappointed that they've not capitalised on their pressure. Bath City scoring somewhat against the run of play. And they lead now. A very valuable lead it is too. Cashman's shot, safely gathered by Boos. Cashman's pass. Felix onto it and he'll get there too. Ollie Pierce is waiting in the middle. Felix can pick him out, he can. Pierce to Cashman, who curls one, it's for one! Danny Cashman's goal of huge value to Worthing, who have fought their way back into this one. The partnership of Pierce and Cashman has struck again. Brilliant goal. 
one you probably say they do deserve. And the two players in your screen there, vitally important. I think Felix has been the best player in this first half so far. Doesn't give up on this ball. And then all of a sudden, it's about the first touch of Danny Cashman to get out of his feet. And then all of a sudden, he can just bend it round into that bottom corner. Using Dyer is almost like a shield. That leaves Buse limited view to get that goal. It's a tidy finish, it's a quality finish there from him. And this angle will show it perfectly. Erding back on defensive duty as this throw comes in. Oh, it's hooked goalwards and just over the top by Idahan. But now Felix can come forward and relieve the pressure. Goal scorer Cashman up there with him. Touch. Really good play from Worthing, who have turned defence into attack expertly. It's Wheeler now. Cashman on side. And pulling it back to Spong. Big appeals for handball against Idaho. Nothing given. And this game really starting to come to life now. Elliot Freer also there for City. He's over the ball. It is Clark. Good delivery, too. Required a save in the end from Reese. Team Worthing and Bath City. The away side taking the lead early on, but Worthing fighting back. I think we're watching two teams desperate to find their very best. I don't think they've quite managed that so far, but definitely positive signs for both clubs one or other take that final step and secure a massive three points wheeler's shot just off target for worthing good signs for them early in the second half adam you and clark it's clarence clearance was a good one and cook can make something of it he's done well cody cook it's cook deflected and just wide felix has also got uh, plenty of pitch in front of him Willis touches forward. Wheeler now. Oh, just looking for that incisive pass in the final third as Wheeler goes for goal. And it's pushed out by Booz. And he stops the second one too. Here's Yeboa. Goes nicely for Reigns here. Didn't quite get the cross in, but Bath City retained possession. Dyer and Idaho both up there. Oh, terrific header and a fantastic goal. Bath City lead once again. Delight for the Bath City faithful. Worthing, not for the first time this season, undone by a set piece. This time it's Jordan Dyer that's got it. Well, Terrific header. It. Yeah, I called it just before. It's been there, Achilles Hill all game. And it's really good movement from the number four, Jordan Dyer, as you mentioned. It's a quality ball in there hit with pace and power. Two set plays, two goals. Goes all the way through to Wheeler this time. Two men blocking his path to goal. Kane Willis is there. Big deflection on it. More handball appeals, but uh, referee Sam Reid has not been the slightest bit interested in any of those so far this afternoon. Black and white shirts seem to be outnumbering uh, red at the moment. That's what I'm talking about, them working hard without the ball. Bath City getting back goal side and being defensively resolute, but they can't defend too deep. Here's Pierce. To Farge, who's done well. It's Cashman. Oh, fantastic! He's done it again!
but Danny Cashman has smashed in a sensational equaliser. Well, timings of goals can be crucial in a game and in a season. And could this goal for Worthing be the one that gets them three points and gets them going? I spoke about Bar City not to defend too deep, and that's a prime example there. On the edge of the box, you take a touch, and he's not really being closed down, but he strikes across the ball, takes it away from the goalkeeper. Emphatic finish from him. Wonderful goals from Danny Cashman. Stolen the thunder. The league's top scorer, Oli Pierce, today. Good work from Yeboa. Long range effort and just wide from Bates. A sensational winner that would have been. Finding Chambers. Not really had a chance to impact the game since coming on. He's found the man of the match, Cashman. Willis. That's a good ball, out to Farge, plenty of red shirts in the box, one of them, Cashman! Oh, I thought that was the hat-trick, and I bet he did too. The game's outstanding player, so close to settling it. Yeah, and it would have been the perfect hat-trick, right foot, left foot, and then your head up. Just couldn't squeeze inside the post there, free head up. Just angling it away from Orbeus in the goal. Felix has it back. Surely this is the last chance. Pierce goes down, but he's offside. And the referee brings it to a conclusion. A very hard-fought game between Worthing and Bath City. It finishes 2-2. I think a draw, probably the right result.